Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, this is another current favourites video. So I apologise for the lack of current favourites that have been on my channel this year. I literally don't think I've done one this whole year. Which is crazy because I do really enjoy filming these videos. Um, I know it's more of like an old school kind of YouTube video. But I still really enjoy them um, and I loved watching them back in the day. Um, and I just think it's a great way to kind of know what people have been loving, what products are worth the money, what products aren't. And my favourites, I go like all into the spectrum. So I have like fashion, I have beauty, usually I have makeup, but I don't have any makeup at the moment. Food, TV shows, movies, random apps, all those kind of things. There's going to be a little bit to cover in this video since I haven't done a favourites video this whole year. Without further ado, let's jump into this current favourite. So I might start off with clothing. The first clothing piece that I have been absolutely loving is this little cropped denim jacket here. So this one is a Levi's denim jacket. It has the little red Levi's tag and then it's got the little Levi's patch. But it's just a really nice like baggy oversized cropped denim jacket. Now this I did actually find in an op shop in one of my vlogs. So I will try and remember to leave that vlog down below. I think I know what one it is. And it was actually on my thrift list to find so I was super happy to find this jacket and I have just worn it so much it's super nice and comfy and denim jackets just go with absolutely anything and then I might stick with the jacket and then the last jacket that I have to show you guys is this massive cardigan here now it's got that kind of like bell sleeve and it's this massive like chunky knit and then I like that it goes a little bit thinner on the ends. It doesn't have any buttons or pockets, I don't think. Oh no, it does have pockets, sorry. So it's just a really nice, chunky, oversized, cropped cardi. I have had so many compliments on this cardi um, on multiple days that I have worn this. It is super warm. It's the warmest jacket that I have with me at the moment. And if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys have seen this jacket in multiple videos and vlogs. And it's just been an absolute staple. Like, it probably needs to be washed. But this one I bought from Glassons. I got mine in a size medium. And I actually bought this because I saw my workmate wearing it. And it looked so comfy on her that I just had to go and pick it up. So, yeah, super happy. And then we'll jump back to denim real quick. So I have been absolutely thrashing these jeans here. So they're more of like a, I would say they're more of like a straight jean. But these ones are again Levi's. So they've got the little red Levi's tag and then the Levi's patch um, up the top. They're this really nice, it's kind of like a mid wash of denim. These literally fit me so well. Like they're really nice on the bum and then really nice on the leg. They've got these distressed rips in the knees and then the little fraying on the end. They kind of cut just above my ankle, so they're really, really flattering. These ones are the 550 style of Levi's. These ones, again, I did actually thrift in an op shop in Auckland but I have absolutely been loving these and again if you guys have watched any of my vlogs or even some of my sit down videos I think I've had a few of them in my sit down videos but definitely in my vlogs then you guys would have seen these jeans. The last kind of like fashion favourite are these bright pink combat boots. So these ones are a patent leather it just reminds me of like a Barbie combat boots. So I'll show you guys one of them. So they've got the little zips down the side so they're super easy to get in and out of. They are super comfy. I've had so many compliments on these as well when I wear them. Got the chunky sole and the combat boots have been really on trend at the moment too. These ones I bought from Mi Piachi. Now Mi Piachi boots are not cheap. But they do have afterpay and lay by so that's great if you're trying to save money and space things out a little bit. But I just had to have these when I saw these. Um, and these come in multiple different colours as well. Like I think you can get them in black, like an olive green, like a light pistachio kind of green, a vintage cream and a brown. 
I believe. And I love wearing these with like skirts and that chunky cardi as well. Next I might move on to beauty. So I have two beauty items that I want to share with you guys. So the first is this perfume here. Now I love this perfume. I haven't actually sprayed any on today because I'm going to change my outfit because Phil and I are going out for dinner later on. But I will spray this later on when we go out for dinner. Oh, it smells so good. Like you guys can see how much I've used. This one is the Britney Spears. I think it's the Fantasy Luxe perfume. You can buy it from farmers. You get like a good amount. The Britney Spears perfumes I absolutely swear by. I think maybe even in my last favorites I had a Britney Spears perfume. But this one just smells quite like sweet. Not like sugary sweet but more of like a fruity sugary sweet. Like I just, oh, I absolutely love this. I douse myself in this all day, every day, basically. I like never leave the house if I don't have it on. And I just needed a new perfume because I ran out of my other one. And then the last beauty product that I have been loving is this little moisturizer here. So this one is by Origins. This is the Ginseng Oil Free Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. Now I really wanted a facial moisturizer because I ran out of my OXX Studio one that I actually absolutely loved and they don't make it anymore and it's discontinued and I really wanted a lightweight moisturizer for my skin because my skin is like combination skin but I didn't want something that was heavy and thick I wanted something that was really nice and lightweight so I went into Mecca and this is the one that they recommended for me I love the smell of this it just smells like orange rind I've used quite a bit of this already that you can kind of see there. But I just use this after my Mario Badescu toner. I've shown you guys in a vlog my skincare routine. But I absolutely love this moisturizer. It always makes my skin glow and makes it feel really nice and hydrated. So highly, highly recommend the moisturizers from Origins. Next up, I might do the TV shows and movies. So I will start off with TV shows. So the first TV show I wanted to talk to you guys about is Trinkets. Now this I actually watched ages ago because like I said I haven't filmed a current favorites in a while but it's like all these girls they shoplift and they have that in common but they're all trying to kind of work on themselves so that they don't do it but it definitely covers a lot of really intense kind of issues high school and how that can really affect you and it was just a really good show it wasn't like crazy lighthearted, but it wasn't crazy heavy either like it was just a kind of a nice in between and I'd heard a lot of people raving about it so I really wanted to give it a go and I absolutely loved it I cannot remember how many seasons there are so I will write it on the screen but I watched it pretty quick um, and Phil and I binged it together and it was yeah a really really good show the next TV show I wanted to mention is the bold type now again I absolutely loved this program it kind of has like three main characters i guess and they all work for a magazine company so if you guys watched the carry diaries and liked that you will like this and it just kind of follows them at work and kind of like their life issues and going through like relationships and like their friendship together and all those kind of things like it's just a really nice program again it's like not too heavy not too lighthearted. it's somewhere just in the middle and there's four seasons of it Phil and I finished watching the last two seasons whilst in lockdown. Phil was the one to actually find this and he knew I would like it and yeah, I loved it. Would watch it all again to be honest, like that's how much I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of like fashion and glitz and glamour in it as well. So if you're into fashion, I would highly recommend that show. All of these shows as well, by the way, that I'm going to mention are on Netflix. And for the TV shows and movies, I will link trailers down below to them as well if you do want to go and check them out. The next TV show I wanted to talk about is The Circle. Now, specifically season two and season three. So I have mentioned The Circle in one of my previous favorites videos before and I absolutely love the program it's kind of like a social media game it's like a game show basically you have to like create a profile and like talk to people you have no idea if they are who they say they are or if they're a catfish because all you get is their little profile picture and you've got to kind of suss out based on your conversations that you have with them whether they're genuine or fake and then yeah at the end of every like couple of episodes you have to rate them from like your favorite to least favorite and then the top two people that get rated the highest become influencers 
entrances and they get to decide who's blocked and if you get blocked you're out of the game um, and they're competing for a hundred thousand dollars you can't see each other and they're in like soundproof apartments but it's really really interesting super fun it's a really light-hearted show this one um, so definitely recommend this if you want something light they just released season three not long ago and Phil and I binge watched it they usually release like four episodes at a time so every time they would drop the four we would just sit and binge and it was one of those shows that I started watching and then Phil kind of joined in and quite likes it and then the last TV show I wanted to mention to you guys is Young Sheldon now if you guys don't know I love the Big Bang Theory um the TV show obviously I am Christian so I don't believe in the actual actual Big Bang I have always loved the TV show my parents love the TV show and they released a show called Young Sheldon which takes like Sheldon Cooper who was one of the characters who's very like OCD and particular about the way he lives life and it kind of has the TV show on him growing up and he's very very smart like gifted smart which is really interesting and I have been loving it I think from memory there's three seasons and at the moment I'm only halfway through the first season but I've been watching it on my own and I absolutely love it it's just kind of nice to get a little bit more insight into how he became the person that he is now we'll go on to movies so the first movie I wanted to mention is falling in love and in is with two ends so this one is really cool because it's like filmed and like set here in New Zealand so you get like a lot of the Maori culture and the New Zealand slang but basically it follows like this American woman who I think she gets either fired or she quits her job and she's just going through like a really rough patch in life and then she gets drunk one night and then completes this like application to win this like inn that you get to like do up and it's like this mansion place whatever in the countryside of New Zealand and she ends up winning so it just kind of follows her like moving to New Zealand and learning the culture doing up this house and I think thoroughly enjoyed watching it and just the fact that I'm from New Zealand and watching her kind of like navigate through like New Zealand culture was really really cool. The next movie I wanted to mention is Soul. Now this one I believe is on Disney Plus and it's like a Disney animated, I think it's Disney, could be Pixar and it kind of follows this music teacher who plays in this band and then he dies um, and he's kind of like in that middle stage before heaven and hell where he doesn't want to accept the fact that he's died. He tries to like do everything he can to kind of go back and redo his life um, and just live it differently because he was very like self-absorbed in him ultimately accepting his fate kind of thing. It was actually kind of a more heavier one for it's technically like a kids movie but I really enjoy watching those like animated movies because I think they have really good messages and Phil and I watched it together and absolutely loved it. I think from memory the humor was quite good as well. The next movie I wanted to talk to you guys about is the shadow of the moon now this one is a bit more of a heavier one i will admit it is a little bit confusing when you watch it the first time um it's quite interesting though because it involves time travel it's really hard to kind of talk about it without giving it away there's a bit of drama it is a little bit gory but I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Phil, Rachel and I watched it during lockdown and we all really enjoyed it. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did so that's why I've put it in this video. And then the last movie that I wanted to talk to you guys about again is on Disney Plus and that is Free Guy. So in my one of my vlogs Phil and I went to go and watch this movie and I have since watched it again and I really really enjoy this. It's very similar to Ready Player One. So if you enjoyed Ready Player One, you will enjoy Free Guy. The humor in it is fantastic. Like it is so good. And it kind of follows this like guy who, his name is actually Guy, um, who is, what's it called? Like an extra in a video game. So it's not like one of the main characters that you play. It's just one of the ones in the background. He thinks he's real and he thinks the world he lives in is the real world, not a video game that someone else is playing. So it kind of is like the story of him finding things out and then his whole world is like going to crumble and he has to kind of save it kind of 
thing. It's like one of those movies, but it is really, really good. So highly, highly recommend checking that one out as well. It is one of a more like newer release movies, but it is on Disney Plus. Alrighty, so next up I wanted to talk to you guys about a book. So I'm just gonna say a quick disclaimer and that I have not finished this book. I am not very far through it to be honest. I'm up to chapter seven, but so far I am absolutely loving it. Like it hooked me right from the start. And that is this one here. So I have talked about this in a vlog as well, but this one is the Magpie Society, One for Sorrow. At the heart of the school lies a deadly secret. So if you guys don't know, I love Zoe Sugg. I have read all three of her Girl Online books and her Quarterly Invited book, and I have been watching her videos for years. She released this book, I think it was last year or the year before, and I just hadn't got around to reading it. It has a very similar kind of vibe to Hogwarts, but without all the wizardry. It's like a boarding school type situation. Kind of gives me a little bit of like wild child vibes as well, but it is more of like a thriller, like murder mystery type book. So kind of like wild child cross Harry Potter. But so far I am really, really enjoying it. It's like hooking me in. And I really want to get through this because I believe the sequel is either coming out or has come out. It's not too thick either. And like the words are quite good. It's told from two different characters' perspectives. So Zoe writes one character and Amy writes the other but they all link really well and it's a super easy read. Next up, I might do food. The first food item that I wanted to share with you guys is this yogurt here. So in particular, this brand. So this is the Yoplait yogurt brand. At the moment, I have the strawberry one and I also am loving the vanilla. Like those are like my two favorite flavors. I'm very sad because the collective um, strawberry yogurt that I absolutely loved got discontinued and they made like a berry version instead which doesn't taste the same so I was really really gutted to lose out on my strawberry yogurt but this one is super super nice it is very very creamy like it kind of gives me like ambrosia vibes and it smells so good like I have literally been having this for breakfast the last like few days. Highly, highly recommend this brand of yogurt. It says free from artificial colors and flavors. So the last few food items I don't actually have with me to show you. I have been loving M&M's. Just the plain brown packet of M&M's. That was what was getting me through lockdown. M&M's and wine. I would literally go through a pack of M&M's a week. Again, I have loved M&M's for years. And then my last two like food favorites are dishes that my old work made. So the first one that I absolutely loved is the chocolate parcel. So I can put a photo here of what it looks like. It tastes so, so good. It's kind of just like thin kind of like chocolate that cracks when you eat it. Um, and then it's got like a normally like a sorbet or an ice cream um, in the middle. And with the chocolate sauce, like, oh, it was just so good. I literally went through one of them a week at least at my old job. And I'm really tempted to go back for like a dessert lunch and <laughs> get one. And then the other food that I didn't actually realize that I liked, but I do, are creme brulees. So at my old work, we used to do a chocolate one, which I absolutely love. And then we went to the caramel banana and that one, oh my goodness, it was like next level. Like anytime there was one of those that were made and it was wrong, I would just be like, can I have it? I mean, just with like the little cracked like toffee. Oh, it was so good. It was super nice to discover that I actually really enjoy creme brulees, although I feel I'm very fussy with my flavors. I'm a very fussy dessert person. Like, I'm a massive dessert person, so like the flavors have to be like spot on for me to enjoy it. And then the last category that I'm going to do are apps. The first app that I want to talk to you guys about, I have known about for ages and I absolutely love this app. But it is the Shazam app. This is like the little logo for it and what it looks like. Basically, this is great if you want to know what a song is called. So whether you're like in a store or you're watching a movie or you're at a party and you really like the song, all you need is data or internet and then you just click or you just press this middle button here and it will listen to it and it will tell you what the song is. And then you can have like a little library. It's probably not, oh, I was going to say it might not load because I don't have my internet on. But it's just got your little section up the top for your shazams it's free um and i think you can use it on apple and androids i've got an android the last app that i wanted to talk to you guys about i have to show you guys like this but it is the 
flow app here so i don't actually want to go on to my little calendar thing because then it will show you guys where i'm at in my cycle flow is a great app to track your period or you can use it to track pregnancy or track ovulation little daily insights so when you end up on your period you can log in your symptoms you can log how much sleep you get how much water you drink um what you're feeling and then it has little like health things that pop up my internet isn't on at the moment but you have these little insights down the bottom and usually it comes up with little articles about certain things about like the female body or about sex or about periods and you've got a little secret chats button and it's just a really great app you do have to pay for this app though which is the only slightly annoying thing but i just pay like 40 dollars a year to use the app um, and I feel like that's quite good and I found it really really helpful to like actually know my cycle and know my body and they can let you know if your cycle is normal you can see your previous cycle see how long it was this video isn't sponsored or anything I know that flow does sponsor some people it's just been really helpful to just get to know my cycle and then I know if things are occurring every month or if something's abnormal so there we go guys those are all of my favorites or things I have been loving over pretty much this whole year to be honest but hopefully this kind of filled that current favorites void i don't do monthly favorites just because i don't have enough products coming in to do that and i'm currently saving for a wedding at the moment so a lot of my money is going towards that let me know if you guys have tried any of these things or you've watched any of the shows that i have mentioned or movies let me know down below in the comments what you guys have been loving at the moment as well because i'm always looking to try out new things if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media it's always linked down below in the description box if you guys would like to watch some of my previous current favorites as well because i have filmed a lot yeah um, i'll leave that playlist down below and in the eye for you as well so that you can go and watch that and i think that is everything so i shall see you guys in my next video Bye. Oh, I just got it on my nose. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs>